Hey guys, it's Vodacom Super Rugby time again, and yeah, my thoughts on the teams. Emirates Lions, are they South Africa's best bet for this competition? Well, looking at Johan Ackerman's side this year, it's hard not to say that. They've got continuity, they've got the same squad, they've kept everyone together, and bar one or two guys that they've lost, they've really, really got the same squad that really made from nothing into 10 Springboks last year. It's a testament to, to the way Johan Ackermann, the Swiss, the brain coaches and the JP Ferreira, that they made came from nowhere and, and in the last couple of years, through that continuity, have built a side and which really came to fruition last year. They played some magnificent rugby last year. We all saw it, we saw them go to the final and maybe you know, played one game too far, maybe the wrong game plan in the final, but they had to back themselves. So to me, the fact that they're playing Australian sides and not New Zealand sides is really going to help them in the pool stages of the tournament. Of course, there's always that worry that when we get to the when we get to the playoff stages, that might count against them as we saw it count against the Stormers last year. But given that where they are right now and the continuity they have, the players that they have, uh, yeah, I think they'd really do well. The one question I have, and something we've put to them repeatedly, which they've denied, is the fact that a number of their players, a number of their stars, went off to Japan to play in the off-season. So how did that affect them? If it doesn't affect them, they're going to have a great season. If it does, like it has affected teams like the Stormers and the Bulls in the past, might be a different story. So for me, the Lions are a very good bet for the playoffs, and maybe even further than that. Looking at player acquisitions and losses, not, not too many of those in the Lions case. There's, there's a number of players that are there from the last couple of years that have really been the backbone of this side. Think of guys like Faf de Klerk, Elton Yankees, those guys. The guys they, one guy they did a loss is going to be a huge loss is Warwick Tecklenburg. He was the, was the graft in the team. He did all the donkey work. He allowed Jakob Krill and Warren Whiteley to look like superstars outside there. But he was the guy who was the unsung hero. Top 10 in every single step last season. How are they going to replace that? Be good to know. Carl Brink, Gruen Ackerman, both of them are going to look to get in there and make their mark. If they do, the Lions lose trail will function like it did last season. But there's a lot riding on the shoulders of whoever takes that spot. Saying that though, the other guy they brought in is Marvin Uri. Marvin Uri is a, a great lock from the Bulls. Uh, at this stage, he probably needed to make that move. He wasn't going very far in the Bulls there. Marvin's always been a guy with immense, immense talent and possibility. He played with Franco Mosti at the junior levels, SA at the 20 levels, and in the Varsity Cup when they won the Varsity, when Tix won the Varsity Cup, before Franco Mosti went on. If you look where Franco Mosti is now as a player, and Marvin, you can, you can understand why he needed to make that move. Uh, he wasn't going anywhere at the Bulls, and now he's at the Lions. So it's a big season for Marvin, a great liner, a thinker on the field, and really a really clever, creative player. If he gets the same sort of uh, form that we've seen at junior and varsity cup levels, he's going to be a big factor for the Lions. Let's hope he does. The bolter for the year? Well, that's going to be an interesting one. I'd say it's going to be one of those two, two loose forwards there. Either the Ruan Ackermann or Carl Brink. Both of them were there last year. Both of them established themselves. And now both of them have got a point to prove. So are they going to be the guys who are going to prove that point there for them? Uh, that's, going to, that's going to be the big question. Because if they do that, the rest of the Lions machine is so well or they'll do well. The other guy I think will stand out today as well, Sylvain Mahouza. Keep an eye on him. Very dangerous with ball in hand. And really a great player as well. Potential, a lot of potential in that player. So if he gets a good run, and with Ron Combrink out for a while, he might get a good run there as well in, in, in the first part of the season. To establish himself, if he does, expect a lot of trials from him. <music> Verdict? Well, that's pretty easy with the Lions. We reckon they're going to be a very good team this, this year. I reckon playoffs at least for them, given the draw they have. And if nothing else, they should be able to make it through to at least the semi-finals. Who knows? Maybe they can go one better this year. We're all holding thumbs. It's a bit far in the future to predict. But I reckon they're going to be there and thereabouts. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a comment down below if you agree or if you don't agree. Tell me where you think the lines are going to end up. And also, if you can, subscribe to this channel. You'll see a lot more rugby videos like this one.